It's time for a top 10. We all know Edge DevOps, and we can all agree that it is one of the best tools in its category in the market. But what makes it so good? These are the 10 reasons why Azure DevOps is just better. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Coder Day. Thank you very much for joining me today. Take a moment to subscribe to this channel and enable the notifications if you haven't done it yet so you will not miss any other videos I will post soon. Before jumping into the top 10 reason why I think Azure DevOps is just better, two notes. First, these are my 10 personal favorite features and reasons. If you have any other thing you like better, let me know in the comment section below so we can have a discussion. Second, this top 10 is just sorted randomly. If a feature or reason appear before another, that doesn't mean that is more or less important. All right, let's start. Reason number one, Azure DevOps is modular, but fully integrated. What that means is that you have multiple pieces of it. You have Azure Pipelines, Azure Repo, Azure Boards, Azure Artifacts, and Azure Tests. And you can use either one of those completely independently. Let's say you just wanna focus on source control. There you go. You just go with Azure Repo and everything works. Maybe you just want to do CI CD, well, just go with Azure Pipelines and pull the source from somewhere else. Or maybe you just want to use the Azure board for managing your work. That's not a problem. Every single part of Azure DevOps works independently. But then if you use all the pieces of Azure DevOps, you have full end-to-end -end traceability, which means that you commit your changes to Azure Repo, and then you can manage the work for that comment with Azure board and everything is related. And then you test it and then you have CI CD for that commit. And everything is completely correlated. So at any point in the chain, you know that that changes has been made to respond to that work items for that particular feature and user story. And that even when you deploy, you know in that environment, you have that specific line of code. Isn't it cool? Reason number two, Azure Pipelines. Well, just saying out the name should be enough. But if you do not know Azure Pipelines, it's the CI CD engine inside Azure DevOps. And it's awesome. What you can do with Azure Pipelines, you can hardly do with other systems, especially if you want CI and CD in the same tool. There are other tools out there that can do great CI, but maybe they deficit in CD. Or vice versa, other tools that, yeah, they're not that great in CI, but then when it comes to deployment, they do great. You don't have to choose anymore because with Azure Pipelines, you can do a great continuous integration and a great continuous deployment. And you can choose whatever fits you better. Classic pipelines, which means that you have the visual editor to modify, manage, and create them. Or you can go with the multi-stage pipelines, which are the YAML based. And you can decide to have one YAML file for CI and one YAML file for CD, or to uh, take full advantage of the multi-stage and having different jobs and different stages inside the same YAML with the advantage that the YAML is just a file. So you can store it in your source control and you know, use all the normal mechanism for source control, which means pull requests, which means permissions and review and so on and so forth. I think Azure Pipelines is one of the main features for me in Azure DevOps, for sure one of my favorite. Reason number three, it's enterprise features. Azure DevOps is a fully enterprise ready system. When it comes to auditing, when it comes to security, permissioning, and enterprise processes. It's, I think, one of the most complete tools in the market when it comes to enterprise. It's fully integrated with Azure AD. You have a full auditing, which is also exportable, which means that you will always know the user that did that operation in your Azure DevOps. And if we talk again of Azure pipelines for a moment, that's a truly enterprise-ready CI CD systems. Most of the Fortune 500 companies use Azure Pipelines to build and deploy their application. And the beauty doesn't stop there because if it's true that Azure DevOps is fully enterprise ready, it doesn't mean that small companies cannot use that. In fact, it suits perfectly from enterprise to startup and vice versa. Reason number four, it's geographical presence. Azure DevOps is one of the most distributed system when it comes to geographical presence. And it's not a surprise because it relies on the Azure infrastructure. 
is available in eight different countries and regions, including Australia, Brazil, Canada, East Asia, Europe, India, United Kingdom, and of course, United States. When you create a new organization in Azure DevOps, it will be created in the region that is closest to you. And of course, you can always change. Let's say you created an organization when the Europe region was not available. Now you can go and ask to change. And within a few hours, the Azure support will move your organization and all your data to the region you want. And this is truly an advantage, especially for countries that have data residency requirements. Reason number five, Azure Boards. Azure Boards is the work management part of Azure DevOps. It allows you to control the flow of your works, your teams, and your processes. Whether you use Agile, Scrum, or some other methodologies, you have in Azure Boards your companion. I've seen Azure Boards used by small teams, medium teams, or even teams of thousands of people. Microsoft itself uses Azure Boards to coordinate work across different teams and projects, meaning that it's a truly enterprise-ready tool and it offers visibility at different levels in your organization, starting from the technical teams all the way up to the C-levels. In fact, you can create dashboards. You don't need a license for those high-level management or even program managers. If all they have to do is accessing Azure boards, maybe see the status of the work and even create some bugs and work items, all they need is a stakeholder license, which is actually free. Sweet, right? And talking about licenses, reason number six, it's pricing. When you look at the licenses for other tools, they are usually pretty expensive, or you need to you know, add different parts of the software for different kind of licenses, and it's also quite complicated. In Azure DevOps, we have just few types of licenses, and they are really cheap. We only have three type of licenses, stakeholder, basic users and test users. As I mentioned before, stakeholder users are completely free and give you access mostly in read-only to the platform, but allows you to create bugs and work items in the Azure board. Basic users are suitable for the majority of the cases and give you full access to the platform, including repo, pipelines, Azure boards, and so on and so forth. And they are very, very cheap. And finally, the testing users, which as the name say, allow you to give your users complete access to the testing capabilities of Azure DevOps, of course, on top of all the other capabilities their basic users have. But that's not all. If your users have already some Visual Studio subscription associated with them, they have complete free access to Azure DevOps. And also, I didn't mention that there are five free users for every organization. Pricing is definitely something good in Azure DevOps. Reason number seven, dashboards. I've already briefly mentioned dashboards when I was talking about Azure Boards. The dashboarding capabilities in Azure DevOps spans across different modules. For example, you can create one dashboard with all the work items and the statistics from your work management. Then you can create another dashboard for build and release statistics and so on and so forth. And you can use not only first party widgets in your dashboard, but there are a ton of extension available in the marketplace. And most of those are free, which add more and more capabilities and widgets to your dashboards. I've seen dashboards used in many different ways, from giving the development team awareness of the development flow up to the C-level where they wanna see metrics and KPIs of their projects. The possibilities are almost endless. It just depends on how you wanna do that, especially because dashboards are fully customizable. And talking about customizations, reason number eight. It's fully customizable. And this goes in many different directions. For example, one thing I mentioned before is that by default, you can use Agile, Scrum, and other templates. However, you can create your own templates. You can inherit a template from Scrum, for example, and change the way it works. You can change the work items types. You can change the fields in the descriptions and in the forms. You can change the flow of your work to adapt it exactly on how you work. Because remember, it shouldn't be you adapting to the tool, but it should be the tool adapting to your needs. And this is very important. Another thing you can do is creating your user groups and assign them permissions and capabilities inside your Azure DevOps. Do you wanna talk about Azure pipelines? Of course, you can customize the flow of your CI CD exactly how you please. You can create your environments, you can create your steps in the release, you have approvals, you have gates, you have checks, Again, is the tool that adapts to your needs and not vice versa. To me, 
Customization is one of the best part of Azure DevOps because I've used in the past many tools that didn't allow me to do what I really needed and wanted to do. And Azure DevOps actually does. Reason number nine, it's best for Azure, but perfect for all the others. And what that means is that if you want to deploy your application to Azure, or if you want to integrate with Azure, of course, Azure DevOps is the tool for the job. If you want to deploy to other cloud providers or even on-prem, Azure DevOps is the tool for you. There is a ton of extensions in the marketplace, and again, most of them are free, that allow you to deploy to other cloud providers, to other services, and even first party for on-prem. And not only to Windows, of course, but you can use Linux and you can use other technologies. And you don't need complicated setups or settings. You just define your environment, you use the service connections, and you're done. And you can install the deployment agent in your VMs, in your bare metal machine, on-prem, on other cloud providers, and this allows you to reach your deployment targets, even if they sit in protected Vitro networks or in protected environments. And last but not least, reason number 10, integrations and extensions. I already mentioned briefly that there are a lot of extensions in the marketplace, free and paid, that allow you to integrate with other systems, that allow you to perform tasks that are not natively implemented in Azure DevOps. What I didn't mention is the broad range of integration that Azure DevOps can perform. One of the first party citizen in Azure DevOps is service connections. What it allows you to do is defining in a centralized location for your project, the connection to third party systems. And these can be deployment targets, can be external Git repositories, or even third party CI CD system. The possibilities are really unlimited. And in Azure DevOps, there are also webhooks, which is a common communication pattern for integrations that allow you to communicate and integrate with other SaaS tools like ServiceNow, for example, or many others on the market. Again, this makes Azure DevOps really great for integrations, and you can always create your own extension for using it in your organization. It's really easy and the documentation is really complete. All right, what do you all think? Are my top 10 reasons and features the same as your preferred ones, or do you have something else? Let me know in the comment section below so we can initiate our discussion. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for joining me today, and see you soon at Coder Dave.